Hey guys, Delman here, and let's talk about the recent Around the Verse episode, and it's quite a controversial one, and I'll get to that in a minute. So, so far what we got to see was the new asteroid system, like this is the old system where it would all had to be done by hand, and uh, was a lot of painstaking work, and this is the new system. So, this is the asteroid belt around Yila, as you can see, there's a lot more rocks for us to look at and, uh, you know, fly around or fly into. And it's going to be a much more cinematic experience. The way they want to have it is so larger rocks rotate really slowly, right? And smaller rocks will rotate really quickly. And the mega-sized rocks will rotate, like, not, not at all. So they can put things like stations on them. They've already got pirate outposts put in there. As you can see in the smoke clouds, those sort of cluster areas is where they plan to put those. Also, um, you know, when you're flying through, I mean, just for a, say, making a video or something like that for a whole new perspective or whatever, they've got some new camera angles, I'll get into that in a minute. But flying through this asteroid belt will be absolutely amazing with all the detail and stuff. It almost looks like watching a movie, you know what I mean? Right, so the new camera angles. You'll have to uh, hold F4 plus modifiers to, uh, you know, be able to zoom in and out of uh, your basic camera mode. These are the new camera uh, angles and things we all now have access to. Then there's a uh, hold F4 and the star key, and we'll be able to do all sorts of other things. Basically, these are standard modifiers for, like, you know, the new camera angles. You'll be able to offset your camera, move it around the outside of your ship and things like that. We may also notice that the ship is moving slightly, you know, like bobbing back and forth a bit like, um, a bit like a living creature would. And that's cool. I guess it's just the way they wanted to have it. So it's uh, more, you know, like, uh, I don't know, dynamic or whatever, like more, uh, more actiony when it's in flight. So there's a little bit of minor movements here and there. So if you are going to record it, it'll look better rather than the ship, uh, ship being static. Now here's something I'm not really a fan of personally, is the, the new camera system for what they're going to be using for Star Marine. It's across the board, this camera system in 2.6, is you'll be able to place cameras when uh, when you're dead, when you're in spectator mode, and uh, be able to jump between them. And uh, you'll see what I mean in a second. And that's the idea for that, is for when you want to record, you know, like um, or film something, or like make a machinima, you know what I mean? That's all good and well if you want to use it for those purposes, but I can see it being abused big time. AKA using this free camera mode to look around corners and uh, see who's coming down the corridor before you know you'd usually see him in first person. The idea of first person is that it's well Star Citizen is supposed to be a first person experience. What they're doing now is they're using these new camera angles uh, so that people could really you know look around the corner before they're actually physically around the corner. This is the new dynamic music. I'll let you enjoy it. Uh, this is what they're going to be implementing for Star Marine. That was the new dynamic music, and uh, it's pretty cool. I really am looking forward to that. That'll come in when the action starts to heat up in Star Marine and stuff. That's for when you start to score more points and uh, start to win. Also, further on, uh, what we can see here is, you know, some obviously FPS gameplay in Star Marine. But what we, what you're not hearing is the fact that sound muffles when you're outside, and sound will change when, like, you're in different areas because like, this is a tight uh, crawl space sound would be a lot more like, you know, focused in this area. It's a lot more isolated than anywhere else. If you're in a junkyard, sound will bounce off all the various objects and give you a really immersive feeling. I love the what they're doing with sound. With the camera angles, I really am not a fan of. I think they should probably put limiting factors on those cameras, angles like maybe free fly only and things like that because having those camera angles in the main game can really, really, like, you know, people could really abuse that and use it to uh, get the edge up on someone unfairly. Because uh, there's no risk in uh, going into that third-person camera angle to look around a corner if you've got someone watching your back. And that's it's kind of cheating in a way. Right, there's going to be a huge uh, overhaul to the uh, well, the ship's systems during flight. The f general flight mechanics, they said, aren't changed. But the flying has changed, is what they said. So, basically, what it means is flight has changed. Uh, we'll be now having boost and uh, afterburners are two independent things. Afterburners are something you'll be having to use to get up to cruise speed. There'll be no more button for cruise speed. You'll have to physically boost your sh uh, ship up to that speed. Entering cruise speed will not uh, take much fuel, but boosting up to it, like afterburning, like the initial like uh, thrust of afterburning, will use up quite a bit of fuel. 
Boosting is to enhance your maneuvering thrusters and uh, get those things firing at all maximum capacity. The flight has changed. This is going to change things big for racing and combat. They wanted to slow everything down for combat and have it more close combat and uh, tight and stuff like that. But um, I think what it's going to do personally is slow down combat to a crawl and I, I sure hope not, but that's the way it looks like it's going. Also, on top of that, the... Um, this, the flight at the minute we have in 2.5, I honestly don't have a problem with. If you guys have any problems with 2.5 flight, please let me know. Because at the moment, it's fast paced. You know, it really does have that heart thumping moments when you're traveling at like Mach 1, you know, dodging asteroids and stuff, chasing somebody down and move, maneuvering around. You should still be able to do that in theory in 2.6, but it'll be a lot less of it because the combat will now be a lot more slow and a lot more up close and personal. That There can be benefits to that, like, um, you know, more, uh, more. I don't know what they were going for. Maybe more slower-paced uh, chases. It works great for Vandal Swarm, but I'm not sure it's going to work too well in a uh, PvP environment because players aren't usually going to be ch facing one another's back. They're going to be facing head-on, and it probably means it's going to be a lot more collisions, as in people crashing into one another. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are, guys, on this in the comments below. I have mixed feelings about the uh, most recent Around the Verse. I'm not really a fan of the new camera angles being used uh, freely, and I'm not a fan of the uh, the new flight mechanics being really, really slow. So yeah, let me know what you think, guys, and uh, thank you for watching. As always, guys, thank you so much for the support, and uh, yeah, you know the drill, commanders. Fly safe, and I'll see you around the verse. Probably in a third-person camera angle around the wall. <laughs> Take it easy, guys.